Okay, what is up, everybody? Um, didn't expect it to start that as soon as I did, and had to set some settings up. And now we're here over the, at the avalanche, but that's okay. Well, this will be a test, kind of like the Neo test. Um, seeing if y'all like the game. Uh, would y'all rather this, or would y'all rather Neo? Scotland. <laughs> Just barely. <laughs> And who is your traveling companion? A new student. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Merlin's beard! How did you- Wait! We did- Okay! Friend's dead. Flying carriage without any horse or anything? Oh, okay, there are, uh don't know what those are exactly. Oh! I don't really I don't know if the poll has succeeded or not, but I asked would y'all rather the evil playstyle or would y'all rather the good playstyle? If there's nothing, then I'm probably gonna go evil. I may go good though, because if y'all didn't know my real life name is Griffin. Gryffindor would be pretty cool. Okay. Stuff will write you in a so it did get one vote. I'm a bad guy. And the Wigan Wheeled Potion is good for me, apparently. I plan on doing, like, pretty good, decent amount of stuff. Some of it will be off screen, but I plan on keeping oh, most George. everything of importance on here. I can't. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. Those ruins. Do you the port key was meant to lead us there? I do. 
This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right, and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Focus on the center. Really basic magic is gonna do this? This is a uh, interesting. I see, okay. Oh shit. Okay, maybe. Maybe not. I don't, I don't know. I'll change settings later. I'm not trying to mess with it too much, though. I'm, I'm recording. Sorry, my brother was talking to me. Um, not trying to mess with it, though. Ah, up there. Oh, I can hang. Okay, interesting. We're close now. It's just. Is there a sprint? No, but I can jump at any time. It's not like souls. Repair oh. Also, tell me if the audios are too scuffed, because uh, when I was playing it, it was scuffed. I hope this is better. Really, I should probably have a couple tests with myself, but um, I'm I'm not very intelligent. <sighs> yeah. Professor, this statue... This may have been his home. Well, who is this? Oh, um, by the way, not very versed in the Harry Potter verse. Um, I try to catch up. My mom is incredibly versed. So, I, I try. And I can, can kind of keep up. Hey, man. I don't know if that was a wise decision or not. How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. name Godric's heart where are we okay never mind I've, I'm figuring out some of the problems man this is annoying I'm having to mess with my settings so much who it's a boring job for real hello Why does he seem like the happiest goblin I've ever seen? Uh, just a moment. <laughs> Ooh. Wizarding Bank. Vault number 12, I presume. <clears throat> Precisely. The key? Mm hmm? The white port key. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Stay close. After you. Uh, keep your hands 
inside the cards if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> Are we buckled? Um, seems like this could be incredibly dangerous. Never mind. I don't know. I'm actually sticking with that idea. Yeah, I'm very much sticking with that idea. This seems Hundreds dangerous. Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. Oh, this is cool. I'm not even going to try to center myself remotely because this is, uh, this is slow and, uh, this is fast. The banking thing is fast. This, and I'm slow. Yes. Don't exactly mean to talk over. A what? That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experience the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Oh. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. I didn't skip, so, uh... Vault number... Vault 12. Momentous day! <laughs> hmm. On your way. See, he seems like what I remember the goblins from Harry Potter is doing. Sorry if I hear my brother this morning. Heavy sleeper. The armband that guard was wearing was glowing. Like the glow you saw in the porky container. Now the darker. I saw that same glow in the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back then. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Here we are. Okay. When was the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. Until today. Uh. Vault 12. Thank you for your help. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait! Best of luck. <sighs> Professor? That was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm, Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Study your wand with L and guide it along the symbol's path to learn the spell. Uh, press the corresponding input when prompted to accelerate your wand's motion uh, along the symbol's path. Okay, um... Did I get that right? Oh. Hmm. Okay. I think I got that. Revelio. There. I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. I don't want to try all that bullshit again. Let me just try right here. A door. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to 
I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Okay. Lumos. This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Okay. I think I know how to proceed. Rebellion. I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, the exact same thing. Okay. Okay, that's pretty simple. It'll have to get harder, I assume, but... Lumos, well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. Not to fight, okay. Okay, Spidey Sense. Oh, damn. Oh, drop's pretty easy. Damn, my ass. It's okay, that's, this is my first time playing. Oh, damn, I guess it didn't matter if you were gonna go off into the shadow realm. Professor! Ah, that's where they're leading me. Rebellion! I suppose I'm on my own this time. Lumos! All three of you? Choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of there. Oh, Protego is triangle. Oh my god, I'm bad. Ah, just press triangle. It's so easy. It's so easy. Just press triangle. Dodging in a circle. Ah, oh my God. 
I died! I died this early on into the game. I have no right. All right. Uh, brother starts sleep talking and half scared me to death. Oh, why am I shooting into the air? Oh, I get to choose who I stupefy. And it's based off of who I've walked on to. It's interesting. And I have time to switch, too. Fuck. I get away from that one. Oh, I like that. I like that dodge. Tap it really. Hmm. Okay. did you what is this place i don't know but i found this floating above that basin that is no mere basin that is a pensive for viewing memories i wonder Follow my lead. That's interesting. Damn. All is in place. The port key is well hidden. Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We will... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in here. I was... Is this really the main villain? Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I could kick him in the head. I, to think no one was ever gonna I like the armor though, I'm not gonna lie. Like if you were taller, and you'd be a good looking. Here? No need for that. Just 
Give me whatever it is you found here, and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they had the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have a proof. I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Damn, he's doing that all with hands too, what? So what's the point of a wand then? Maybe you can just do it with hands. Oh damn, they're overpowering him. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Oh, yes. This game looks great. Like, graphics are 10 out of 10, honestly. Nah, maybe not 10 out of 10. Uh, ah, they're pretty there, though. I give it a 9. Which really, nothing really ever hits the 10, and nothing probably will ever hit the 10, so you, I, could, I could just say that's a 10, just because really, like, what makes it, like, if nothing hits the 10, then what qualifies it to hit the 9, you know, I don't know, maybe there's a thought process behind it, so, yeah, it looks good, though, I mean, I'm liking it so far, we're gonna do a bad guy build, apparently, that, that's gonna be interesting. I do still want to keep some relationships up, so it won't be completely good, bad guy, but we're going to be pretty there. We're going to have all the curses. We're going to have all the ancients. We're, I'm going to really try to min-max my character. Um, might even look at some stuff so I can make sure I don't waste time in anything. Um, you know, be pretty s precise on where I'm going with this. Oh, good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate now i need to study this locket as soon as i can but first i must contact the ministry they need to know what happened to george and be warned of ranrock for the moment i ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me of course sir thank you ready for the sorting ceremony Phineas, Nigellus, Black. Prepare yourself to meet the Headmaster. Fig! 
Nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony oh, is an over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig. And I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Okay. I don't really like the headmaster being a douche. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I like, you know, come on. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Mm -hmm. The Weasleys have always been nice, from my knowledge. But aren't they more of like a. Oh, wait, no, never mind. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. Actually, I'm not gonna lie, I can't wait to start the classes. It seems like this might be an interesting take on a game, so um... I don't know which one I want more, to explore or to start the classes. I think I'm going to start, say start the classes. I'm looking forward to meeting my professors and learning all I can at Hogwarts. Indeed. Hogwarts has much to offer a dedicated student. And what you learn in class will prepare you for challenges outside the classroom as well. Hmm. I wonder. Hmm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Mm, what is it? Is it ambition? I may seem single-minded, but it is important to go after what you want from life. Mm, interesting. You've recently learned that you possess a rare ability. I detect a growing sense of ambition. An eagerness for power. I just said that. Oh. Perhaps you belong in Slytherin. I don't know, man. Okay, I mean, I wanted Slytherin to be evil, but... Then again, I was like, man, I could be a Gryffindor but still be evil. I could be a Slytherin and still be a good guy. It, it's okay, though. Either way, it's not fit the aesthetic. Yes, uh, oh, wow, I can really choose a different house? No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna accept that house. That's a good one. That makes perfect sense. I'm actually about to, I'll be... Slytherin! I'll be back. Is it possible for me to... Okay. Sorry, I'm back. Okay, I had to tell my mom that I got Slytherin. And I was just oh, answering, you know, that's one cool. One more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But, don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Damn, he's an asshole. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. 
Also, if you think my character looks chopped up, it's because I was told that this character is the closest I'll get to my character, what I look like in real life. So, yeah. I'm not gonna lie, he doesn't look too much like me, but he looks close enough to like me that it would like. If you've seen me in real life, and then seen, you know, uh, my character by side by side, you might be like, okay, I can see it. Chopped up, right? Very well. Aspiration. Oh. So a snake just arches itself up like that? I don't well feel like done. a snake would ever do that. Now, go on in and get some sleep. I don't know, maybe I'm going too deep into that, I'm not gonna lie. Tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. I cannot I wait, I'm not gonna lie. You're what welcome. the fuck? I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Oh wow, we slept really well apparently. I just teleported. Or time traveled. Oh, it looks good in here actually. It looks way better than I thought it would have been. Let's head to the common room. There's probably warmer shit in this bitch. Can I okay, cool. Can I help you? Oh, you're the new fifth year. I'm Sebastian Sallow. Welcome to Slytherin. Thank you. Not everyone has a ministry escort to school. He was a friend of Professor Figs who merely joined us for the ride. Still, impressive. Dreadful way to go, poor fellow. Glad you and Fig are all right. That's really exciting, I don't know. Eh, maybe it wasn't. It was dreadful, certainly, but quite an experience nonetheless. Interesting perspective. How did you and Fig manage to escape? It's all still a bit of a blur, to be honest. Didn't mean to press. You just get yourself settled. We can talk more later. What book were you reading? A spell book I picked up. Has a few interesting things, but not exactly what I was looking for. I'm sure you'll find out soon enough. But not every spell you may need can be found in our assigned textbooks. Are you saying some spells aren't taught at Hogwarts? Which ones? Seems I may have met a kindred spirit. <laughs> that is a conversation for another time. It was good meeting you. Good luck today. I'm not gonna lie, I'd be putting on a bulk and then a cut or something, you know, um, be the most ripped wizard you've ever seen. I'm gonna football kick that wizard or that goblin. What is this? Ugh, not going to move there, are you? Here, watch this. Don't say I didn't warn you. Checkmate. Told you. She's confident. Too you confident. Listen to me. Ah, oh, I know who you are. You're the new Slytherin, the one who barged in with Professor Fig. Is that water night. outside? Am I underwater? On your first day, taking all the attention away from the first years. I'm Amelda, by the way. Shame I wasn't with. I don't like this day. character. I could have lured that dragon away. My skills in a broom are legendary. What should I say? I don't know. I want to be nice to her, but at the same time, I'm going to do an accidental good gal build. God damn it. I want to be nice to her. I don't like her, but at the same time, I don't feel like she's that bad of a part. Let me go. Let me go soft with it. If she irritates me, then I'll start getting ruder and ruder. Perhaps Professor Fig's friend would have survived if we'd had your help. Okay, Precisely. never mind. I don't want to go. And now she's I'll irritating me. Or two about flying. I can teach you more than Kagawa ever could. Speaking of which, I'd like to get in some time on my broom before classes. Are you a keen wizard chess fan? 
You knew that boy was going to lose the match. Not really. Much too sedate a pastime for me. Also, it's simply not that challenging. The moves are always us? so obvious. Why does no one else see it? Goodbye, Imelda. Nice meeting you. Yeah, I, I liked her character. Kind of, kind of not. I don't know. Um, we'll see. I, I think I heard one. And we're underwater. Hmm. Doubt mermaids find us that interesting. Ah, based on all the chatter when you enter. Are you bland? Bl blind? Blind? Whatever? I'm Ominous. Ominous Gaunt. Nice to meet you, Ominous. Well, you certainly had a memorable arrival. Well, if I'm going to make my mark here, I had to start right away. <laughs> You're definitely in the right house. Do let me know if I can be of any help as you navigate your first days here, though I doubt you'll need it. Did that student say he thought he heard a mermaid? <laughs> yes, but I've never heard of a mermaid showing up outside our common room window. It is fun to play along, though. Been known to keep some first years on the lookout for hours. Hmm. I kind of like him. I don't think he'll be I a companion, though, since the he's was blind. Then again, uh, maybe fun, maybe he can learn something that helps him. Observation it's hockey. Professor Weasley's waiting for you just by the stairs. Got it. No, nah, this is dope. I'll have to explore around this more, but. It does help. Dang, I'm sprinting. I love running up these stairs, Good you know morning. what I'm saying? I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts. I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion yeah. with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. Interesting, but I wouldn't let people tell me what, what I'll like the most. And, you know, because if I'm already fixated on something, then don't change my mind. I don't know if that's the right opinion to have on it, though. I don't, I don't know. I don't really know how it works yet, so maybe I'm forming an opinion too quick. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning, uh, so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would uh, be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Huh. And stuck that in my armpit. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Yeah. This okay. way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to enter this box real quick. I certainly no. would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. I see. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. Do keep up. Why don't what you cast fuck? Revelio on that statue and see what details the field guide can provide? Revelio. Oh, okay. It's way more simple simple than I thought it would be. A Kelpie. This statue depicts the Kelpie, a shape-shifting water demon native to Ireland and Great Britain. Britain? Yeah, I think I'm... Uh, well, I don't know if they pronounce it differently, if that's... Uh, uh, yeah, Britain. Let's say that. Uh, which usually takes the form of a long-maned horse. The largest Kelpie ever reported is the Loch Ness Monster in Scotland. It's kind of interesting. 
Okay. Oh. Hmm. So I'll be doing these a lot. So where's the wizarding level? XP earned from a child. Okay, I get that. Um, I'm level one. Yeah. And I can just come in here and read whatever I did. Correct. Two special rewards unlock. Ah, I see. I see. Okay. <sighs> now then, this. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more oh, opportunities like that inside and outside of the castle. What is this? Oh, more spells. I see. What is this? Oh, that's cool. Are these ter terrible curses? Oh, that's so cool. Crucio literally makes them writhe in pain. I don't think I want to do that. I'm not going to lie. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, this will be really cool then. And it doesn't seem like all of these are... Okay. Well, we'll see when I get there. I'll get all the spells. I'll try to, at least. Uh, I don't think it'll be hard to get all the spells, necessarily, at least. Whew. Oh, shit. Good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Okay. You discovered a flu flame. <laughs> uh, fast travel points. You can open the map at any time uh, to fast travel at, to any discovered flu flames. Hmm, okay. Hogwarts is divided into two main areas. The left side of the map is where students and professors live and includes the house, common rooms, and the Great Hall. Okay. Select the Grandster. Okay. In this view, you can see the flu flames av available in that region. Green flu flames represent flames you have discovered, including your own house uh, common room. Gray flu flames uh, reveal the f location of und undiscovered flames. That's such a weird word, flu flames. Also, something that I was thinking about while I was doing this is that um, the way I edit this is really like you'll be able to see how like maybe a pro would edit this, or maybe not even a pro, but like someone that's edited games like this before. Like I don't even know really how I would edit it. Like I mean, I'm gonna know when I'm editing it, obviously, because that's when it will come to me. I don't know, that'll be interesting though. Okay. Continue. Select the library annex. Central Hall flu flames for me. Uh, use R to rotate the map in. Okay. And uh, R like that. Yeah, uh, okay. Now this is where I need to go. Uh, cool. And here we are. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. Okay. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. What the fuck? Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. 
You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of defense against the dark arts is required for those who aspire to become auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard, and a talented teacher. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. <laughs> Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. I Meh. Oh. boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Mm. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Okay. Come find me in so my classroom good little boy. you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Okay. So, my recording is about to end, but before it does, and I think this is a good note to end on, I want to see if I've got the outfits that I got from the Dark Arts pack. And that's where we're going to be ending this episode, guys. Um, if you like my content, and uh, if y'all actually, matter of fact, if y'all want to see this uh, content, like Hogwarts Legacy, it's between Neo 2 and Hogwarts Legacy. I don't have a problem either way, because whatever y'all say, I'm just gonna play the other one maybe off screen, or maybe it'll come out at a later date. It's fine, what, what whatever, what, whatever one y'all want. It's between those two, unless y'all come, ow, recommend me another game that I can get to. And even then, it would have to do good in the content scale of things. So, it really depends, but yeah, between Hogwarts Legacy and Neo 2 as of now, which one would y'all rather see? I am i wouldn't have a problem doing this. I know this was probably a more mellowed out episode because there's really nothing to do or nothing that we did do um, comparatively to everything we will do later on with this. But trust me, we'll do, we'll do, we'll do stuff. Also, I don't like the mask either, okay? I would get the crow mask, but I haven't. 
you know, didn't sign into my Warner Brothers stuff. I'll probably do that in the morning. Yeah. But, um, and also, if you like my content and what I do, then, you know, like and subscribe and, uh, YouTuber things. And, um, yeah, see y'all later. Peace out, everybody.